happen as they just showed up in game number three. Kondo is now having to answer oh, no what just way. happened. You can't do this. K-Dop gets a shot. No way. He was up 10 years before that pass even came to him. Like, this is that connection we talk about. <laughs> the best duo in the game. Unbelievable passing play. Just able to read and follow that. To not only, like, be able to get a slight touch so it still goes in the net, but to be able to drop that off to your teammate. Like, fantastic plays coming out from Down two goals, but we did see them answer back one of those in the first game and then put on a lot of pressure in game number one, and they might be able to bring that one back. A second oh, the touch. Pone, what a save what from a Fairy! Save, though. Fairy Peak able to keep that one out. What an incredible play from Pone, though. That's what Penta needs. Oh, they need to be careful to commit it. Pone next going to put another shot off the crossbar. We were just talking about how incredible this guy can be, and he is oh, starting no. to show it, but an open net almost. Freaky had forced in the way. Man offensive pressure. Jacob goes for the bumps on net, but Fairy Peak intercepts on the side to block the shot from Fireburner. And now he's got an opportunity to shake a shot towards the net. Guarantee he had the save, but it wasn't enough. Mock it's up. They tried to throw everything on that last drive with the double demo, but Fairy Peak respawned in time to not only get the save, but also the shot on target. Such a good counterattack. And that is Mocket with the lead, 31 seconds. We've seen comebacks like this before. Is that they have come up with is Devo. Got to put it to the side. Something that's become so much more difficult recently. Usually pushing the ball away from your net has been so almost safe. But as teams get very good at predicting what the defender is trying to do. Oh my goodness, Fairy P! Hello! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Hello indeed. He got bumped directly into that, recovered on the wall somehow found the angle to put that under the crossbar. That has to be quite the boost, especially. We've got Rizzo in pursuit. These guys looking for each other in the midfield. Fairy Peak and Freaky, tight position. Oh. What a fake from Fairy Peak, and he puts it through one goal game. And there you go, Fairy Peak showcasing that 1v1 skill that he has. He's locked it down. We've seen him oh. executed so many times, just completely pulling Kronobi out of net. And, and, and 15 shots so far. But it's not over. Fairy Peak, what are you doing? The solo plays, you talked about it, James. How incredible this man can be dealing with this all alone. Gets Ooh. underneath, gets a flick. Mets and Mox is both staring at him. 15 shots so far, but it's not over. Fairy Peak, what are you doing? Complexity has 15 shots to, to Vitality's four. Oh my. Yep. 15 shots so far. But it's not over. Fairy Peak, what are you doing? The solo plays, you talked about it, James. How incredible this man can be dealing with this all alone. Gets Ooh. underneath, gets a flick. Mets <laughs> and Moxes. That's into the middle, but Pashi couldn't hit it high enough. And just like the first series of the day, we've got back to back overtimes. Pashi off the corner to Ferry, and Ferry sneaks it under the crossbar. Vitality take game two. Quick overtimes all day, six seconds. We had an eight second one in game one. Ferry peak, he's, apparently he's a fan of Gibbs. Or maybe Woo. they, I don't know how to, how to pep talk, because Gibbs asked him to perform the easy oh shots, my. the ones you miss the most, but he, he will not hear the end of that. You know, no. a turbo pulse of reaction. And oh, oh, look at this! Oh, very peak, demolishing them right now. Four goals, look at this double tap. And, I mean, they're just playing with their food right now. This double tap by Fairy Peak. Coming and going in overtime. Yesterday, a record setting overtime. Eight minutes and 11 oh, seconds. Seven? Yeah. Uh, what? Well, that oh, one won't be that long. Oh my goodness, Fairy Peak ends it in style. Look at this mid-air redirect deflection, whatever you want to call it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And Cooksu stopped at the corner of the box because he knew speed was on the opposite side. He was going to be able